When it comes to running, having the right pair of shoes is essential, but with many options, it can be difficult to know which shoe is right for you. And in this video, we're gonna provide you with three steps to help make sure you get the best running shoes for you. Step one is to determine your foot type. This will help you decide what type of material and features you are looking for in a running shoe. Knowing your foot type is the best way to ensure you get the style of shoe that will support and cushion your feet during a run. Now you can go to a podiatrist or you know an athletic store or even some services that are online to help you determine, kind of give you a foot analysis and help you determine the type of shoe that is right for you, the type of foot and your gait and your foot strike. Step two is to try on a variety of shoes. When trying on shoes, make sure to wear the same kind of socks that you usually wear when you're out running as this can affect the fit of the shoe and whether or not they create hot spots. You definitely need to get the right shoe and sock combination. Now try on different styles and don't be afraid to ask the sales associate. Hopefully you go to a, a reputable place that has knowledgeable sales associates. Ask them questions if you need help. And if you're not happy with any of the styles, ask them to suggest other types of shoes for your foot type and or gait or what you're planning to do, what type of race you're doing, the type of training you do. Just make sure you're fitted for the correct type of shoe. It's a tool. These are the most important things that are that are going on with you when you're out running. So make sure you get the perfect shoe for the type of running that you're gonna be doing. And step three, after you've narrowed down your choices, you can test them out. Many stores have treadmills on site and sometimes they'll even put you out front of the store and let you run up and back and forth up and down the road or sidewalk. You can use those methods to test out a shoe Make sure you start by walking and then move into a run at a comfortable pace. You know, you want to see what it feels like when you run up on your forefoot or heel strike, whatever it is you do, you want to make sure the shoe feels okay. Uh, if they don't feel comfortable or supported, they may not be the right shoe for you. So it's time to find another pair. By following these steps, you can make sure you get the perfect running shoes for you and your needs. Don't forget when it comes to running shoes, quality does matter. So don't be afraid to invest in a good pair of shoes that supports your feet and will last you a long time. Now, when you go to a store, you're gonna be flooded with lots of different types. You're gonna have some that are more narrow like Nike. I don't really wear the Nike shoes too much because they are a little more narrow. Brooks fit my shoe, my foot, I have a wider foot. I wear 11 and a half, I'm very supportive. They have neutral and uh, shoes that are supportive that handle kind of over pronation. Uh, I love Mizuno shoes uh, from speed to trail shoes now. I love Mizuno shoes. They're made fantastically, very durable. You definitely get your money's worth. And even in trail shoes, if you're looking for trail shoes. So they got a more lower profile trail shoes. You got tr uh, trail shoes with aggressive treads, uh, max cushion trail shoes. There's a lot to consider, but it really depends on the type of running, the type of race, the type of terrain you're gonna be running in. So make sure you pay attention to all those. It's best that you, you really try to find the right tool, shoes for the event you're going to be participating in. Again, if you're in rocky areas, you need a lot more aggressive tread. If you're on uh, plush um, paved uh, <laughs> trails, you may just be able to use a, a street shoe. And if you're in uh, marathon training or if you're running 5Ks, there's different types of shoes and different types of shoes for different types of training. So make sure you ask questions, do your research, and uh, make sure you pay for the quality because that will definitely pay off in the long run. So if you're looking for more tips and tricks, go ahead and click right here and I will see you in the next video.